The aviation industry is in shaking when Russia reveals a new version of MC-21 that promises the aviation world. In the context of a rapidly evolving global aviation industry, where demand is rising for fuel-efficient aircraft that can still deliver long-range and high passenger capacity, Russia is nurturing a strategic project named the MC-21-400. Not the variant that we always mention. It is expected to become a new symbol of Russian civil aviation and reaffirm Russia's position on the global aerospace map. So, what will it look like? Why could it beat the Western aircraft? Let's see. Russia once had the L-62M, a former icon of Soviet civil aviation and a source of immense national pride. With a capacity of up to 180 passengers and a range reaching 11,000 kilometers, the L-62M proved that even narrow-body aircraft could conquer intercontinental routes. However, when this aircraft was officially retired from commercial service, it not only marked the end of a specific aircraft model, but also symbolized the closure of an entire era of long-range narrow-body aviation in Russia. The subsequent period was marked by the dominance of Western wide-body aircraft. However, by 2021, the global aviation landscape began to undergo a major transformation. Reports from both airlines and manufacturers pointed to a common conclusion. The age of the four-engine giants was ending. Airlines were preparing to retire legendary aircraft like the Boeing 747 and Airbus A380, while both manufacturers had also announced plans to shut down production lines for large, wide-body aircraft. In their place, long-haul routes would increasingly be operated by a new generation of narrow-body jets, aircraft that are lighter, more flexible, and more cost-efficient. That trend hasn't only emerged in the West, it's also taking shape in Russia, a country with a uniquely vast geography stretching from Europe all the way to the edge of the Far East. With thousands of kilometers separating Moscow from regions like Kamchatka or Chukotka, Russia's domestic air travel needs cannot rely solely on medium-range narrow-body aircraft. For many years, long-haul routes over 8,000 kilometers have been served by imported wide-body aircraft such as the Boeing 747, 777, 787, Airbus A330, and A350. Even flights from Russia to Africa, such as tourist routes to Egypt, have continued to use Rossiya Airlines' Boeing 747 fleet. But things are beginning to change. Russia has announced that its entire 747 fleet will be retired within the next three years. In this context, Russia is being forced to consider a long-term replacement and aircraft developed domestically, capable of taking on strategic missions both at home and abroad. And the answer may well be the MC-21-400, an expanded and comprehensively upgraded version of the MC-21-300. This aircraft is not only expected to revive the long-range narrow-body legacy once pioneered by the L-62M, but also to play a key role in reducing Russia's reliance on Western-made airliners. One month before the MAX Air Show in the summer of 2021, Ravil Kakimov, then CEO of Irkut Corporation, unveiled plans to expand the MC-21 product line. According to him, developing the MC-21-400 was entirely feasible and stood as the top priority among upcoming domestic aircraft projects. However, he also emphasized that the final decision would depend on actual demand, especially after airlines begin receiving and operating the MC-21-300. At a time when the global aviation industry is undergoing rapid transformation, Russia has to consider the critical decisions with a rare opportunity to reshape its long-haul air transport strategy. This isn't merely about national pride, it's about building an aircraft with real potential to propel Russia back onto the main stage of the global commercial aviation arena. Is this your first time hearing about the MC-21-400? So what might it look like? But hold on a second, we're glad you're still here. If you're as passionate about aviation as we are, let's make this journey unforgettable together. Hit that like button, share the excitement, and subscribe. Let's build an incredible adventure side by side. A massive thanks to you. From the initial details revealed, it appears to be a long-range narrow-body aircraft that borders on wide-body territory, potentially comparable to the Boeing 787-8, the smallest variant of the Dreamliner family. The MC-21-400 will be the longest version in Russia's MC-21 aircraft lineup, designed to enhance both passenger capacity and operational range compared to the current MC-21-300 model. 
With a seating capacity of around 260 passengers, the MC21400 sits at the higher end of the narrow-body category, edging close to smaller wide-body aircraft such as the Boeing 787-8. Its expected range of 9,000 to 10,000 kilometers allows it to handle a wide variety of international intercontinental routes that were traditionally the domain of wide-body jets. The maximum takeoff weight exceeding 105 tons indicates it will have the payload and fuel capacity necessary for long-haul operations. Compared to the Boeing 787-8, a twin-aisle wide-body aircraft that can carry around 242 passengers with a range of over 13,500 kilometers, the 400 offers a similar or even higher seating capacity, but with a significantly shorter range. However, the most notable difference between the two lies in their fuselage configuration. While the Dreamliner-8 is designed to optimize passenger comfort on long-haul routes with its spacious cabin and efficiency over ultra-long distances, the 400 aims to be a more economical and flexible option for airlines serving long-distance routes with moderate passenger volumes. With its narrow body, single aisle design, but high seating capacity, this Russian aircraft is expected to bridge the gap between traditional narrow body jets and smaller wide bodies. This strategy aligns well with current market trends, where airlines are increasingly seeking fuel efficient, versatile aircraft that can handle long routes without requiring the heavier investment associated with large wide bodies like the 787. But more importantly, what engine will offer power for it? Notably, on September 20th, 19, Yuri Shmotin, Deputy General Director and Chief Designer at United Engine Corporation, UEC, revealed in an interview that the company was planning to upgrade the PD-14 engine. The upgrade would involve increasing the bypass ratio, that means the amount of air flowing around the engine core compared to through it, and developing it into a new, more powerful version called the PD-16. He also mentioned that this upgraded engine would be used for the MC-21-400 aircraft. However, UEC's goal wasn't to create multiple distinct engine types, but rather to design a common engine platform, a single engine core that could be adapted for various versions. This approach would allow for mass production with only software adjustments or minor tweaks for each aircraft type instead of designing new engines from scratch. Studies have shown that the Variant 400 with a dual-class cabin configuration and a range of up to 10,000 kilometers is expected to be well-received in the Russian market and has strong potential to become a new flagship carrier for the country's civil aviation sector. So when can we expect to see the MC-21-400? As soon as the MC-21-300 officially enters commercial service with domestic and international airlines, Russia will closely monitor market feedback as well as the aircraft's operational performance. Based on indicators such as transport demand, passenger density, operational efficiency, and feedback from airline operators, the Russian government and the United Aircraft Corporation UAC, are likely to launch and invest in the development of the next variant, the MC-21-400. This is considered a strategic move to expand the family of medium to long-range, narrow-body aircraft, better serving long-haul, intercontinental routes amid growing domestic and export demands. However, developing an aircraft like the MC-21-400 is no easy task. First, from a technical standpoint, the primary and most significant challenge lies in the propulsion system. Currently, Russia does not possess any engine capable of delivering the thrust needed to support an aircraft with a maximum takeoff weight exceeding 105 tons, the projected weight for the 400. Developing a new, more powerful engine, such as the PD-18 or even more advanced variants, requires considerable time and resources. This is not just a matter of mechanical or aerodynamic design. It also involves advanced materials, thermal efficiency, component durability, and reliable performance under harsh conditions. Without an appropriate engine solution, this aircraft project is unlikely to move into the detailed engineering phase. Second, in terms of aerodynamic configuration, the Variant 400 will require significantly larger wings compared to the MC-21-300. Increasing wingspan is essential to generate enough lift for the heavier airframe and longer flight range. However, this cannot simply be done by stretching or scaling the existing design. It demands a complete redesign process along with a series of simulations and real-world tests to assess durability, vibration resistance, 
behavior and turbulence, and fuel optimization capabilities. All these factors must undergo rigorous verification cycles before production can begin. Finally, from a market perspective, it's important to note that the MC-21-300, the base version of this aircraft line, has not yet entered official commercial service. This makes all plans to expand to the 400 version still fall within a zone of uncertainty. Investors, manufacturers, and airlines are all closely monitoring the operational efficiency, maintenance costs, reliability rate, and market acceptance of the 300 version. If this version meets expectations, it will provide a solid foundation for the development of the 400. However, without sufficient real-world data from commercial operations, committing to develop a larger version would be a risky move, both technically and financially. In conclusion, the MC-21-400 represents a highly promising path for Russia to expand its presence in the medium to long-range, narrow-body aircraft market. But to turn this vision into reality will require time, certainty around the engine and aerodynamic structure, and most importantly, the initial success of the MC-21-300 in the international market. In addition, Russia is nurturing a major ambition called the MC-21X, a versatile version with an impressive range of 9,000 to 10,000 kilometers. While primarily designed for intercontinental routes, this aircraft is also capable of tackling transoceanic flights, even under harsh headwind conditions. The MC-21X is not merely an extended version, it is a declaration of Russia's position on the global aviation map. What's noteworthy is that the development cost of this version is estimated to be only half that of designing two separate aircraft models. One being the MC-21-400 and the other a new wide-body aircraft. If successful, this would be a strategic move that could save billions of dollars while accelerating market entry. Technically, it is expected to reach a maximum takeoff weight of around 155 tons, whereas the MC-21-400 is projected to exceed 105 tons, a significant enough difference to clearly distinguish the roles of the two aircraft. Ahead of the MAX 2019 Airshow, the United Aircraft Corporation, UAC, released a global civil aircraft market forecast through 2038, outlining a promising future for the narrow-body segment. According to the report, Russian airlines will require about 630 aircraft with seating capacities between 166 and 200 passengers, precisely the segment that the MC-21 series targets. Furthermore, domestic demand is expected to be high for a model comparable to the 400, offering a dual-class configuration and a range of up to 10,000 kilometers. If all plans unfold as intended, the MC-21X could become the new symbol of Russian civil aviation, a representative of long-term vision, advanced technology, and resilient spirit as the global aviation industry enters a new era. What do you think about MC-21-400? Share your thoughts with us. As always, thanks for being here. Wishing you always safe and enjoyable flights.